it looks like your license is getting taken away. But starting from the beginning, the College of Psychologists of Ontario, a regulatory board that was formed to monitor psychologists' relationships with their clients mainly, has been after you for, is it three years or is it longer than that? It depends on the waves, but for this issue, it's been three or four years, yeah. Uh, so working professionals like doctors, lawyers, massage therapists even, are all overseen by regulatory boards. What regulatory boards are supposed to do is give clients who've been basically abused by working professionals a place to go to, to complain to. What happened to you is a bunch of people who weren't your clients, random people online from all over the world, complained about a number of your tweets as well as comments you made on Joe Rogan. So I guess we could start with like, how are you feeling about all this? Jordan Peterson faces a relentless battle with the College of Psychologists of Ontario. In this candid conversation with his daughter, Michaela Peterson, they discuss the three year long struggle against regulatory boards and the absurdity of complaints from non-clients worldwide. Jordan reflects on the exhaustion of fighting a war on multiple fronts while addressing the grim reality of eroding freedoms in Canada. Join them as they delve into the accusations, the right to express political opinions, and the determination to expose the machinations of the radical left. Are you okay? It's tiring. You know, I, I'm preparing for this tour. I, I have a, I'm finishing a, two books, they're very complicated. They take pretty much all my attention and having to fight this war, well, it's tiring. You know, I have to plot, strategize, write, watch my tongue, consider my next best move. And I also have to face the dismal reality that, as I wrote in the National Post, in Canada's National Post this week, that in some real fundamental sense, Canada's Charter of Rights isn't worth the paper it's written on, and likely professionals in this country can say goodbye to their right to express themselves, politically or otherwise, politically or professionally. I don't think that my tweets, some of my tweets were political in a sense, in that I was criticizing certain government figures, councilmen, Trudeau's former chief of staff and Justin, the WEF puppet himself. And um, I suppose you could argue that those were political opinions and fair enough, but I have the right to my politi political opinions. Um, many, the tweets that I really got criticized for, particularly the one regarding uh, Page or Page, or however he or she wants to be referred to. Um, I also regarded that as a professional obligation because I think it's incumbent on psychologists with an ounce of integrity to point out the danger of self, of having self-deluded, narcissistic, self-destructive celebrities parade their proclivity to self-sterilize and self-mutilate as a public good on their public forums. So I don't regret any of that. And I certainly, you know me, Michaela, I can feel guilty at the drop of a hat. It's actually one of my outstanding features. And I've scoured my conscience with regards to these accusations. And the, the best I can do is to find them grimly amusing. It, this is so ridiculous. I mean, the fact that the college accepted a complaint that was the entire transcript of my three-hour discussion with Joe Rogan pretty much says it all. And by the way, on the climate front, just so that everyone is crystal clear about this, I think the climate models that are used to justify the encroaching tyranny planned by the WF are 100% untrustworthy. And I think that the notion that we should let people terrify us to death with notions of an impending climate apocalypse so that we have to be locked down in every possible manner, give up our automobiles, give up our private, give up our flights, private or otherwise, give up our right to buy clothing, give up our right to eat, give up our right to keep grandma warm or cool in the summer, let's say, 
It's like, no, sorry, no, wrong, in every possible way. And more and more people are waking up to that realization. You know, well, some of these tweets are now two years old. I think they've aged remarkably well, personally. Yes. And so um, I just, I don't see where the crime is here, man. I think the crime would have been holding my tongue. So, and you know, you asked me how I'm doing. It's like, this didn't really come as a surprise. So I'd already prepared for it. Um, and as you and I spoke about last night, and I've talked over with Tammy too, and with Julian, my son for, you know, to some degree, we're going to see what good we can make arise from this. And if this is my opportunity to further expose the machinations of the radical left, narcissistic, resentful, woke mob, then bring it on, boys. If the good people at the Ontario College of Psychologists think they're immune from such things, they have another thing coming. So, you know, and maybe I'm wrong. I'm not wrong about the damn tweets. You know, I might be wrong about how this is going to unfold.